morning everybody welcome back to Sunshine Acres I'm Jason I'm Kara it is beautiful Saturday morning here at Sunshine Acres and this is going to be part two of making beer I guess the beer is made but finishing, beer. finishing the beer so we're going to be transferring from primary carboy to secondary so this is six and a half gallon going down to five gallons and all we're doing is separate because all the solids have gone down to the bottom. And we'll do probably a little more close up. But so we're just getting, that's called the trube. Mm -hmm. And we're getting the beer away from the trube. And then we'll go to the secondary where additional solids will fall to the bottom of that as well. So it just, it's getting all the stuff that you don't necessarily want to put in your body. Nothing bad or toxic, but it just doesn't taste as good. So. Yeah, I just don't like the texture of it really. Yeah. And it'll ferment a little bit more still yep. in the secondary. So this has been in for two weeks? Two weeks. And then we'll put it in the secondary for another two weeks. Come on. So in the last beer video we talked about sanitizing a little bit. So we, we still got our tub in here and you can use bleach. Um, actually use this PBW. Um, so it doesn't stain your clothes or anything. So that's why it's nice to have that uh, But you just keep the solution in here and so anything that's going to go um, and touch the beer such as uh, funnel and The other tubes that come out of that. So those will be sanitized. We'll rinse them off and then you saw in the intro Getting the secondary carboys these have bleach water in them right now We've already got two that are cleaned and rinsed out and ready to go We'll get those guys going once we start transferring the first batch. from secondary into kegs we're just going to finish cleaning up these guys and I've already inspected the kegs they were cleaned and sanitized and ready to go so we've got these four kegs here and uh, that's where the beer will go in two weeks hello everybody welcome back to sunshine acres this is uh, the second part of this video which is the second part of brewing beer the beer's already brewed but uh, the first part you saw us transferring from a six and a half gallon glass carboy into the five gallon, which we have here. Unfortunately, a couple weeks ago, we had uh, some camera issues and lost, I don't know, half the footage we had. So you got to see a little bit of it, but essentially the process is the same thing we're doing today. Uh, we're just siphoning the beer out. Uh, before it was in the six and a half uh, gallon carboy down to the five. Now we're gonna siphon this guy from the five into a keg. Once it's into the keg, we are going to juice it with CO2 and uh, get it going. Then it'll be ready to keg condition and uh, we'll probably start drinking it right away. But um, it's nice to let it sit for a week or so in the keg. But uh, like I said, it'll be fine to, to try out later this evening. So uh, first thing I'm going to show you, which I've already done, is uh, final san sanitization of the keg. So, Got those guys done with some stainless steel cleaner, run some CO2 on it, uh, pump it through the tubes inside. Uh, so those guys are clean, ready to go. We've got our sanitized tub with all our tools in there, uh, tubes, funnels, uh, siphon, those, everything that touches the beer, like we said, needs to be sanitized. So that'll all be rinsed off and then we'll, uh, we'll start moving some beer. Come on. So I mentioned the last part of the video, uh, check these kegs. Uh, they were previously sanitized, so they've got a uh, solution in there. And uh, for that, I just use the stainless steel cleaner, star sand. Um, you just squeeze this guy and fill it up. Uh, gives you one ounce per gallon. So I usually put like two gallons in each keg. And then what I want to do is put a little CO2 on it, pressurize it, and then run the cleaning solution through the tubes inside the keg so that cleans cleans this tube, cleans the log, long tube inside the keg as well 
gets everything nice and clean, sanitized, and ready for some cold beer. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. <laughs> siphon system and I ordered the wrong size. We've got this guy should have a little hook on it, but it does not. So we're doing a little modified version here that is not probably preferred, but it will get the job done. Alright, so while that's filling, I'm going to go ahead and get this guy gas with a little CO2. While that second one's finishing up, I'm going to go ahead and start uh, cleaning and sanitizing this guy for the next time we brew beer. I always like to do that. Don't wait to clean your stuff. I mean, as soon as you're done with it, clean it up, get it sanitized, get it ready for the next round. All right, so that's it for the second one. Uh, I'm gonna take a quick break. Uh, I'm gonna get a little CO2 on the second keg. I'll get the second carboy.
start cleaning and sanitizing or re-sanitize all this stuff and like I said take a quick break come back and do the second batch. I don't know how accurate my gauge is at, but I'm going to go to uh, just under 10, so I'm about 9 PSI. Um, try to work some of that CO2 into the beer. Let that work its magic. Um, and then we'll adjust it from there once we get it in the fridge. It moves around a little bit. Should be good. Alright, break time's over, so we're getting back on. Uh, this is a Centennial Ale. And get these two pigs filled up with this guy here. So we do a pretty simple setup um, in our fridge. We switch to the smaller CO2 and just keep one keg in here at a time and just uh, just the standard little plastic uh, dispenser tap there. Uh, we do have all the hardware to mount tap handles on the fridge, but kind of on the fence whether we do that permanently or not. So we did have that on a previous fridge, which you'll uh, probably see in an upcoming video with our custom painter friend Lamar, but uh, this is what we do. Uh, just simple, but it works. All right, that's all she wrote. I'm gonna wrap these guys up, get cleaned up, and put some CO2 on this last keg. And then we are good to go. The only thing left to do now is for Miss Kara to come home and we will have a cold beer. So that's it. That's this round of beer for summer beer at Sunshine Acres. We it's are, awesome. Yeah, we're having a glass of uh, this is the farmhouse ale. And it tastes really good. So cheers. Cheers. It's always fun brewing beer together. Another thing to get outside and do together. And just all one of those many things we love to do. Yep. Having fun. So, uh, hope you like this video. Hope it motivates you to get outside, go do something with the ones you love, build something with your hands, have fun. Yeah, Cheers. That's really good. So, hope you all like this video. If you did, please click the like button, leave a comment, subscribe, tell your mama, tell your friends. We'll see you on the next one. Thank you. Bye. Cheers.